right, so now we're on to 10-3. I'm going to do a left tail test here. So what I did, honestly, was I copied and pasted my other left tail test. And I just changed a few things. Let me show you what I changed. Um, I made this S. This is sample standard deviation now. And that's S. Before in 10-2, it was population standard deviation sigma. Um, down here, I changed it to S divided by the square root of N instead of sigma. And for the critical value in the test statistic, they're T tests. So I made them T instead of Zs. And so where there was a Z, I put a T. And then I typed in all the information for this particular problem. Um, mu is 20. In the hypotheses, alpha is 0.05. Um, oh, by the way, I'm doing problem number 9 in case you missed that. Um, then standard deviation was sample standard deviation, which is 4.3. N is 18. Um, X bar was 18.3. Alright, so now we've got to do the critical value. Okay, so the critical value is T inverse of probability degrees of freedom. Okay, so the probability is going to be, now this is a little bit tricky, it's this alpha times 2. You have to multiply it by 2 because this is a one-tailed test, but T inverse always does two tails no matter what. That's just the way probability is for the T inverse. And then degrees of freedom, don't forget from chapter 9, that's N, which is this 18 right here, minus 1. One other thing, because this is a lower critical value, this is negative T alpha, so we're going to have to type a negative number here to get this to work. So it's negative T inverse. If it was a right-tailed test, you wouldn't need the negative. But since it's left-tailed, you've got to have that. And again, you have to multiply by 2 because this is a one-tailed, left-tailed test. Um, if it was a two-tailed test, you wouldn't need to multiply by 2. And the degrees of freedom is always your alpha, excuse me, your n minus 1. All right, there's your critical value. So if we're lower than that number for our test statistic, we'll be in trouble. Now, this test statistic hasn't changed. It's still standardized. X bar, which is 18.3, mu, which is the 20. Standard deviation is not standard deviation anymore. Use the standard error right here, because right, we're talking about a sample. Now, the p-value. The p-value is a little bit trickier than it was before, so I'm going to insert a few rows here. Oops, I'm going to make them blank no fill for you. Okay, so we have to do two things. We have to do the t dist value and the 1 minus t dist value. Um, this is a little bit annoying, but there's um, a good reason for doing it. All right, t dist. t equals t dist. There it is. But you have to take the absolute value, abs, of this test statistic right here. Okay. It can't take negatives. T distribution has to have positives. So you take the absolute value, comma, degrees of freedom, hasn't changed. It's still 18 minus 1, n minus 1. Now, tails, if it's a one-tailed test, you type a 1. If it's a two-tailed test, you type a 2. Since this is a one-tailed, you can see it's a less than, that's a one-tailed, type 1. The not equal to ones are the two-tailed and then do 1 minus that for the other one. Okay, Whichever one of these is lower, that's your p-value. Um, in this case, it's this one right here. Um, we have to do this absolute value thing because it's possible for this to turn out to be a positive number, in which case then this would be the t-distribution value. So the p-value is actually equal to the lower one, this one, 0.055. There we go. Since this p-value is not lower than alpha, see that? See those two? Compare the green ones. We are not going to reject. Do not reject. p equals 0 0.055 is not less than alpha. Or you could see it right here. Look at the yellow ones. This test statistic is not lower than this critical value. So do not reject, right? T0 is not less than T alpha. It would have to be less than, oopsie, T alpha in order for you to be able to reject. Okay? All right. So we're all done with that problem. It's very similar to the last stuff in 10.2, but just S now and T's now, which makes it a little tricky.